again. For today's return demonstration, I would love to show you the proper procedures on physical examinations. But first, let's define. What is physical examination? Well, physical examination can be helpful because it can help determine the status of your health. This can also give way to early intervention and prevention of any health issue that you are currently at risk for or dealing with. Regular health exam and test can help find problems before they start. You also can help find problems early when the chances for treatment and cure are better. By getting the right health services, screenings, and treatment, you are taking steps that help your chances for living a longer and healthy life. Now, let's go to the procedure. The procedure of taking physical examination. So, the first procedure in taking, taking the physical examination is we need to remove all the bracelets, necklace, or earrings that can interfere with the physical assessment. And then we need to arrange for a well and warm and private room. While taking the physical examination, we also need to ensure that all the necessary equipment are ready for use and within which. So the equipment that we are going to use is our set our stethoscope and then we need to wash our hands while doing this procedure or while doing the physical examination and, or even sanitize our hands before we start so i already wash my hands then we need to start i'm going to do the physical examination on our patient so, the fifth step that we are going to do and taking the physical examination is we need to introduce ourselves to our client to our or to our patient. So, ma'am, good, good evening. I am Richie May Pentor uh, from BS1 Veneer. Are you okay, ma'am? Are you feeling comfortable? Okay. Our patient is comfortable and okay. Well, ma'am, I am going to take your physical exam examination today, which is the inspection, percussion, auscultation, and palpitation. So, while taking the physical examination, ma'am, it will not take too long. So, just relax and tell me if you are feeling uncomfortable while doing this. Examin doing our, exam our examination. Now, let's start taking the physical examination on our patient. Our first physical examination that we are going to take to our patient is the inspection. While doing the inspection, make sure that you expose each area to a examine a well light well, while inspectioning your patient. You may use a pen light while doing this. Supposedly, this is a pen light. Then, we're going to inspection our patient to her abdominal part of her body. So, let's start. is good we're done doing the inspection so next is palpitation by doing palpitation is we need to position our client comfortably and encourage her or her to rest also tell the client or your patient that she needs to uh, breathe regularly and do not hold his her uh, breath so, mom, please do not hold your breath. Just breath regularly and normally. We need to ask our client any tender areas before doing the palpitation. And also, avoid applying prolonged pressure 
in one area. And use the most sensitive part of your hands and fingers to palpitate specific characteristic. So, we need to, to start doing the palpitation. So, I am going now. I, will, I am now going to the palpitation now. Let's start. So, the next physical examination is, that we're going to do is the percussion. So, just like palpitation, we need to let our patient, our client, rest in a comfortable position. And then, we also need to tell our client to breathe regularly or normally. And also, we, know, we need to percuss the tender areas gently and we need to step the doing the percussion or percussion if the client is uncomfortable. If, if, if our patient is not comfortable, we have to stop. By doing the, well, we are going to do our percussion now. But after doing the percussion, we need to evaluate the procedure to the location of the construction of our, the position of our patient. Now, let's start. After doing the percussion, we need to evaluate sound procedure in relation to the location of underlying structure. Now, let's go to our last physical examination, the auscultation. First, we need to use drapes and adjust the room temperature. And then, in doing this auscultation, we need to use stethoscope. So, we need to warm the diaphragm of the stethoscope of the stethoscope in our hands and then we need to place it into the client position 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 it to the abdomen the abdomen of the our client now let's start taking the auscultation of our patient so let's start We're done. So, after taking the physical exam, thank the patient. When the physical assessment concluded and document assessment findings in the appropriate section of the patient record. Well, mom, thank you very much for participating in our physical examination very well. I am so very glad and thankful because... You, you participate very much. Well, thank you, thank you so much. God bless you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Well, then, lastly, let's wash our hands. Thank you. Bye. God bless us all. Please watch, uh, watch my other demonstration again and again. Thank you, thank you. Here we go, close enough, complex to my